It's Sunday, May 4th, 2014, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeoWeather.com video forecast. Taking a look at your 3D Max Doppler network as of quarter till 11 this morning. There's some pretty persistent light rain into Ashtabula County right now. Maybe some drizzle off and on into parts of Lake and Geauga County. Elsewhere, it is dry for now under mostly cloudy skies. And temperatures this morning as of 11. There's a nice temperature gradient across the area. Our lakeshore and eastern counties are seeing a northeasterly flow. Some of that is off of Lake Erie, so temperatures in the upper 40s, lower 50s, closer to Lake Erie and in our far eastern counties. Temperatures warming into the lower 60s in our southern and western counties, so a nice gradient this morning. All right, now looking across the country at what's going on, low pressure north of New York State, that has been what has been spinning around and giving us rain chances for several days now. And you can see some pieces of energy rotating around that low pressure, keeping shower chances going over the Great Lakes today and keeping cloud cover in place. And there's a whole lot of energy in the west that's eventually going to move out later in the week, which is going to drive a good amount of warm air northward. We'll look at that more in a minute. All right, so with that said, your forecast for today with that energy spinning around that low pressure system to our northeast, we're going to continue the chance for a few showers through the day today. I think as we head towards later in the afternoon that cooler air will start working its way farther south so we'll probably hit our highs in the early to mid afternoon and then start falling off tonight. Tonight if we clear out enough it could drop into the 30s which may mean a little bit of frost especially in our eastern counties. And your pollen counts for today. Tree pollen is going to continue to run high so if you've been sneezing lately it's probably been because of the trees that's going to continue. Mold spores, grass pollen, still pretty low. I'm thinking grass pollen may come up a bit later in the week with the very warm weather on the way, and the tree pollen is going to remain high for the foreseeable future, so I am sorry to you allergy sufferers. I'm, I'm one of you, so I know the feeling. All right, now looking ahead at one of our forecast models through today and tonight, shower chances continue today as we talked about. Nothing too widespread. Best chances are going to be in our far northeastern counties, Lake Geauga, Ashtabula. Now as we head into tonight, we may clear out for a few hours, which could allow temperatures to drop. Now as we head into tomorrow, some of that energy in the western U.S. starts moving east, and that temperature differential that's across northern Ohio today, that's going to turn into a stationary front to our south tomorrow. So that's going to focus some clouds and perhaps some light rain tomorrow into Ohio. Again, nothing too heavy, but it's not going to be the nicest day on Monday across northern Ohio. All right, now taking a look at one of our big picture forecast charts through the next week, you can see as we head into tomorrow, a little bit of energy moves out of the western United States, flares up a few shower chances. Tuesday, we get high pressure for a day, keeps us dry, probably still a bit on the cool side. As we head towards Wednesday, a bigger storm starts gathering in the plains and there could be some good severe weather there later this week. Here that system is going to push a warm front northward on Wednesday so there could be some showers or storms on Wednesday but then by the time we get to Thursday it's going to be very warm across northeastern Ohio. You can see this southwesterly flow across the region and it should be dry too until we get to Friday when a cold front eventually approaches. So we're going to bring some shower and storm chances back in on Friday. Those will continue through Friday night and into Saturday until that cold front finally passes. And then we're going to hopefully get a dry Mother's Day next Sunday with some slightly cooler air returning next week and behind that cold front. So here's what that looks like on your seven day tomorrow. Mostly cloudy with a few showers around won't be a washout again but it won't be the nicest day temperatures only in the upper 50s it's looking like tuesday we clear out dry out temperatures warm a little bit into the 60s and then wednesday that warm front pushes through with maybe some showers and storms isolated or scattered around highs in the lower 70s wednesday thursday the big warm day low to mid 80s looks like a good bet and i'm keeping thursday dry Friday, a cold front approaches, but it'll still be pretty warm on Friday, and then better rain chances Friday night into Saturday as that cold front's expected to move through northern Ohio. Temperatures falling a bit into next week and as some cooler air moves in, but I am going to go for a dry Mother's Day. We'll see if that changes. All right, again, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for watching. Check us out again tomorrow.